Hi, I'm Greg LeBlanc, and I'm here at the Haas School today with uh, Andreas Weigand, who is the author of this book, uh, Data for the People. Uh, welcome, Andreas. Good to be here. So, data privacy is something that everybody's talking about, um, and it's the topic uh, of your book. Um, could you tell us a little bit about what you think uh, people should have in terms of rights to their data and rights to privacy? Yeah. So first, the distinction between privacy and security is an important one. In many cases, like when you have a security breach, those two things get mixed together in the minds of the audience. So to the question about what rights people should have towards their data. First, there's a right that you should be able to see your data, but you should also be able to inspect the refineries. And the data refinery for me is an organization that takes users' data and produces something back that hopefully helps the person make a better decision. The other rights, for instance, the right to figure out what the radius should be of your geolocation. I call it the right to blur your data. And the last right I have in the book is the right to port your data. That means you can take the data wherever you want your data to go. That is a right which is very beautifully reflected in the GDPR, which is going to be enforced in Europe starting May this year. So one of the questions that people have is if we are to protect or strengthen people's rights uh, to data, uh, does this necessarily impact uh, companies in, in a negative way? So uh, what kinds of policies do you think companies ought to uh, implement with respect to uh, their, their customer data? I'm not a policy guy, but I can tell you what, when I was chief scientist at Amazon, what we thought about the rules which we had towards our customers' data. And the first rule, I think, is that you want to start with a question, not with the data. In this world of exponentially growing data, if you say, let's first get all the data, then you'll never get started analysis paralysis. Instead, get the question clear, get your hypothesis clear. And that way, scientific method, if you will, you know when you have reached the answer to that question. That's one of these rules. Another rule is to embrace transparency, both externally and internally. Externally, think reviews. Before Amazon did reviews, most marketing departments would have said, that's crazy, allowing the user to write something on the website. But now I ask you 20 years later, how do you make decisions? How do half a billion people make decisions? By not looking at what the company says about their product, but by looking at what the user says about the product. That's an example of transparency. And maybe another rule is to genuinely respect and empower the consumer to do things that actually help people make better decisions, better for themselves, and the company will follow. Andreas, thank you for coming in today. Happy to be.